Hey, welcome back, Vineyard family. Um, Good and Beautiful Life podcast uh, for Thursday, May 28th. Hope your week is going well. It's been interesting to listen to all this crazy talk about our lives opening up again. Uh, I don't think we ever, at least not in my history, uh, have had to learn to act and talk and walk and be like we are right now and what it's supposed to look like and how to be together as businesses open up again and hopefully people are getting back to work. Um, But I just wanted before we kind of started today to encourage you as we think about getting back together as a church, at least in a a limited way, but at least being together again, um, that in the midst of that, you'd be thankful that your heart would be stirred um, to think about what God's doing in our midst and what he would want us to look and be and act like as we begin to get back together. Um, I know our staff is especially doing that, taking time to just pray and prepare our hearts and minds um, for whatever God might have for us, maybe something really fresh, something new. Um, So I just encourage you that way, remind you that you can find the details about us uh, meeting again uh, on the hub, on the webpage, uh, vineyardlive.org, and you need to go there to get the details. Of course, you can still call the church uh, during the day from 9 to 3, and we're just excited about uh, God bringing us back together. But for today, let's stop and, and pray. Father, we're so thankful for the reality of your presence for your care and provision during this time, and um, Lord, this new fresh taste of hope that really we can only find in trusting and following you. Lord, your amazing invitation to participate in your kingdom and and allow us to walk and know the Holy Spirit in us, um, it's just amazing, Lord. So we rest in that today, and we ask as we take a couple of minutes here just to be with you. Um, Holy Spirit, that you'd come and meet and minister with us and in us and around us. Amen. Uh, I lit a candle. Um, Thought we'd have that here at least part of the time. Um, uh, Charlene and I have done that and found that it really is a neat little uh, reminder of God just being with us. Um, His presence there with us. Um, I've got some friends who, when they get to spend time with the Lord, they'll pull up an empty chair Um, And just imagine Jesus sitting there uh, in their presence or you sitting in his presence. So I just encourage you to try and find some things um, to do like that. But for today, I'm sticking with the word invitation. And again, it's a major word in this book. In fact, the next chapter we read together, that's the title. Um, As I have continued to just think and and, um, uh, reflect on his amazing, crazy grace that came and got Dan, that chased after him, that has walked with me through all these years. Um, It has become a major motivating factor in my heart and my desire to seek him. And I hope it is for you too. Uh, Pastor Rossi did a great job on Sunday of just uh, reminding us and drawing us into this reality that the good news, the gospel that maybe we haven't heard or, or listened to before, Um, is a gospel of invitation to be transformed, to change. Uh, An invitation to not just be transformed into good people like the Pharisees, uh, but to be transformed into people who walk and talk and act like Jesus. I believe the greatest obstacle that we probably face in that whole reality of transformation today is that we've been taught, I think, we've been led to believe that what God really cares about is our behavior. And we focus more on our behavior modification rather than the reality that his heart is really to change your heart, to change you from the inside out. The good and beautiful God, I'm sorry, the good and beautiful life always comes from the inside out. That reality is the first and the last step in following Jesus. It's what we signed up for when we agreed to follow him, that we gave him permission to begin this incredible process that I think is going to keep going all the way into eternity of us becoming more and more like him, learning more and more about him, and in that process, finding ourselves acting like him, talking like him, and not even having to think about it as we do it. Um, These are days um, that we are in of transformation. Our foundations are getting shaken. Um, 
I believe that these are days when just believing on the outside isn't gonna be enough. Um, these are days um, to just uh, lean into the reality that God uses difficulty. He uses suffering. He uses uncertainty. Um, those are things that begin to break through our stuff so that we can really begin to engage his stuff. We can really begin to listen. We really begin to need him. So I, I just want to encourage you today that we don't miss it. Don't avoid it. Um, I'm, I'm amazed as I read and listen to all the people that talk about this season as being a time to binge watch stuff on Netflix or uh, just to get so consumed in reading books that you've never had time to read. And I, I guess it's not totally bad to want to do that, but I would just encourage you to not avoid the opportunity for God to use these times to help you change, that you would embrace them. That in the midst of the uncertainty, um, you would embrace him and reach out to him. So let's just pause like we've been doing. Let's just um, get quiet, take a couple of deep breaths. Um, I would encourage you even after we finish here to, to just take a few more minutes of quiet and silence. There's words to uh, the chorus of a worship song I learned many years ago that um, every time I sang it or led it, it just cooked me. Um, there were several times that uh, the rest of the worship team had to finish the song out because I, I just couldn't get through it. So I'd like, I'd like to just share the words of that chorus with you as we close today. It goes like this, in my heart and my soul, Lord, I give you control. Consume me from the inside out, Lord. Let justice and praise become my embrace to love you from the inside out. My personality doesn't work with that very well. Um, I'm a performance guy. And so to um, step back and allow him to teach me how to love him from the inside out is a journey, has been. Um, but it is amazing when it begins to happen. Let's pray. Help us, Lord. We submit um, this day to this inside-out work of transformation that you've invited us into. Lord, help us. Make us look like Jesus. Uh, make us look like Jesus in the, the, just the everyday things that we do, that truly um, it would be him being him in us. So Lord, we give you permission um, to do that this day. In Jesus' name, amen. We encourage you again to share the podcast, um, subscribe to it. Um, again, feel free to email your prayer needs or requests or thoughts um, to me. Um, at danc at vineyardlive.org. Hope you have a great Thursday.